Hello guys, my research topic is improving communication skills by extracurricular activities. So my purpose is to find out students' alterations, changes in academic way and the social way while improving communication skills at the same time. So the my research aims is to conduct questionnaire in the post and pre-test and to see the results that they have been before the experiment and after that uh, conduct some lessons with the extracurricular activities and observe the changes by myself and after that officially uh, give them a post-test and the, again the after experiment questionnaire to see changes that uh, happened after extracurricular activities to provide uh, to conduct interview of a particip participants parents uh, another one is the research significance so nowadays uh, our extracurricular activities is and are under underestimated and to change that my research will show results that uh, reliable and having the evidence that activities improving uh, such kind of skills as a communication skill, speaking skill, they more focusing on detail, they starting to respect each other and even though they uh, developing by um, some social standards. My, my research participants are students of from fourth and the fifth grade, their English level is elementary. They are like 11 and 12 years old. Uh, I have only seven students. It's four boys and three girls. Just as an instrument, I used questionnaire that uh, conducted before the experiment and after experiment. Uh, also interview for the parents to, and the pretest and the post-test to see differences of their knowledge of the communication skill. So my literature review based on the extracurricular activities and communication skill. Uh, so communication skill is not only just listening and speaking, however, it also respects your partner and yourself, respect speeches, appreciate it. Also, uh, trying to use gestures and postures like nonverbal communication and uh, listen to understand and answer and to appreciate your partner. Also, Professor Wilken uh, provided a communication curriculum for the school in, in order to develop communication skills in the students. So it's divided into two parts, notional categories and the categories of communication functions. So notional categories is like time, uh, time, location. However, uh, categories of communication functions are based on complaints, some activities or text, so like main body. Also extracurricular activities differentiate from unorganized activities because extracurricular activities based on the step how to step by step improve your skills and improve your language according to Dimash and Rolanda students who uh, doing extracurricular activities they are provide more emotions they are mentally healthy and they discipline also uh, they know when and what to do. So the next one is research stages. The first thing that I did is get got uh, in reliable information about my topic. I looked through some different research re research papers, and then I conduct a questionnaire before experiment to see if students know what is extracurricular activities and communication skill. Is. And then I took pretests to see how they know communication skills, do they know what is it, and how can I help them, which extracurricular activities can I use. So after that, I provided uh, like five hours of activities 
uh, lessons with activities. And after that, I took a post-test to see the difference between pre-test and the post-test. Uh, what did they learn? And after that, I also conducted the questionnaire that uh, was after the experiment to see uh, what kind of activities did they like the most and what did they improve and what did they like, like overall. And then I was just analyzing all these uh, questionnaires into my research questions. So the first question is, what kind of specific extracurricular activities students like the most and what and have the strong benefits for improving communication skills it was important for me to see uh, nowadays in 21st century what kind of activities do students like and in what they are interested in they had time for personalization but uh, for some of the students it's not enough to have like one hour or two hours just to give uh, the interest however they have a uh, like um medium uh study the statistics that they like the exercise they like to do other one is what challenges do students face while participating in extracurricular activities to see uh, how we can solve these challenges how we can solve these problems to overcome and to make a student, to feel students more comfortable in on the lessons. And the third one, what kind of alterations learners gain after practicing extracurricular activities? So this is the main question. And it's important to see, does students improving and developing or is just staying stable for the whole time? Uh, so the next one is the results and findings. Um, so here we can see on the first chart uh, that um, more students want to add for the perfect lessons some activities and the games to feel uh, f entertaining while learning. Uh, two of the seven students want to add just the food to feel comfortable and to feel liberated and the uh, only one student wants to add phones. Um, in the second graphic, you can see uh, the most the interesting games for the students that I provided to them. So uh, five of the students uh, choose sport games. They uh, they could choose like several of the. Um, of the activities. Five of the students choose sport games like uh, football games, uh, games with the ball I mean, and uh, just uh, hide and seek and so on. Uh, only three of them use debate. It takes time for them to uh, formulate their phrases, sentences and then answer because uh, they don't want to uh, be corrected. Like, they don't want to make mistakes in front of others. Like, drama class, computer games, and the tea time, just six of the out of seven students. Uh, so, they like to act. They like to improve their actor skills. And uh, what about uh, the computer games? It's, uh, as I said before, it's 21st century, and students like to use gadgets. A lot of gadgets in another one so conclusion um, after this research I noticed that uh, students improved their communication skills firstly they started to respect each other and without any interrupting they started to think to listen and uh, catch some moments where where they can support person or answer just not the question that they will hear but yeah also they uh, they became more confident about their speeches about their english even if they make mistakes they are trying to be positive also they are becoming mentally healthy and uh, after interviewing parents I had um, 
some of them told that they are uh, children wants to um, participate in different activities and just um, go to some sections, sports sections, drama classes. So I'm glad to hear that. Also, um, students are getting um, better work habits and they really show confidence in academical performances and um, on the social performances. So, so that was the main idea, main purpose. Present implications. So for the present implications, um, I have uh, participants that are encouraged and they respect what they respect neighbors and the partners. And also for the further research implications, I like the researcher need more students more time span because this was like only a short time and I don't have specific uh, normal results for it. Uh, the researcher can use different level of English and interview teachers who are using extracurricular activities for some time and see the differences between students before and after. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Put likes, subscription. Ah.